so this is my review on better length hair if you want to know how I got this look or you want to know what my opinion of it is or just my review make sure you keep watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so thanks so much guys for coming back to my channel so if you click the link you know that this is essentially just an unboxing and an installation video um so let's go ahead and get into it i'm like super mobile right now um all right so i ordered the clip-in extensions the afro kinky curly clip-in set um from better length hair and i got it in the lengths let's see well i just got it in 20 inches and then i also got this like social media phenom like detangling bar so we can open that first before we get to the juicy stuff you know what I'm saying? so i mean everybody's been like having one of these and i'm like genuinely curious to see how this is gonna work i forgot like a piece of it i guess they have the piece that you can attach to the back which we all have seen if you want to like fan it out but everybody's been saying that it works perfectly fine just doing the um so we're just gonna let that ride for now. So um, the next thing, the next thing that we have, of course, the moment we've all been waiting for, drum roll. All right. So, oh, this is cute. This is the bag that it comes in. So it is Better Length Hair Extensions in Kinky Curly 3C4A. It mostly matches the texture of my hair. Let me see, there's like a little piece hanging out over here. Sorry, it's just like, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just real, but yeah, sorry, it's just a little corner piece. But anyways, so my hair is an absolute mess, but we are going to get that in there. So let's see what they put in here. They did a Dear Queen, please show us your before and after photos, which is dope. I do my nails, and then it's just, um, oh, before installation, like maintenance instructions and things like that. Um, and then there's a service number on the back. All right, so let's just do a quick texture shot of the hair. This is how it comes, the little package. Mind you, I literally just got this, like, they just dropped this off. So this is fresh to me, same way this is fresh to you. So this is what it looks like. Let me show you the thing. It's really soft, actually. It definitely could be washed. Definitely. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't. I don't put heat in my hair, but maybe this is what it smells like for people who put heat in their hair. I don't know. So the next clip I'll probably be showing you is just of it being washed and it being installed. So just turn it up. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue this portion of the video. Um, so essentially, I'm just going to follow the instructions that they recommended um, for the best hair care for the better length hair. Um, we're going to start with keeping the bindings intact, and I have it over here in the sink and. Then we are going to go ahead and just lotion it up. Oh, I apologize, it's not some conditioners. Lotion, did I just say lotion? Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and condition it. I was gonna shampoo it. I might put like a little light shampoo because I have um, some I don't find shea butter shampoo that works really well to get just any germs and stuff, especially amidst the COVID is when I bought this. And then I'm going to use um, this new deep conditioner hair mask that I found at Target. I believe it's actually Target brand. And if you watch my other video, you know that I made this. And if you have any questions on this oil, um, that's what I'm gonna put in my hair before I actually install it. And I'll probably apply a little bit to this hair as well. Um, so if you guys have any questions on that, make sure to click that link that should probably pop up. But we are gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use some warm water to wash this and get it nice and hydrated and clean. I'm gonna put just a little bit of shampoo in it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and deep condition the rest. 
is what I used and we will be right back with that. All right, so this is the hair after it's been freshly washed um, and conditioned. It didn't say put shampoo in it, but I shampooed it because hello, stay clean. Um, and then this is how much hair has come out after washing and conditioning. Um, and that's with using a brush that I bought from them. And yeah, so we are going to wash out my hair and then we're gonna go ahead and put this on. All right, so now we have freshly washed extensions and my hair is also freshly washed. Um, let's see here. So we've kind of defined the front, but, and we just put the back in just like some flat twists. They're pretty messy. So the next step is you wanna make sure that your hair is moisturized. And I'm using a moisturizer, a aloe vera moisturizer that I made. Uh, the link for that will be up top or in the description bar. Um, but you can always refer back to my channel if you want that recipe for it. It's really hydrating, contains a bunch of different oils, um, and it's something I really swear by. So, all right, just a quick little cute little length check. We want to make sure that these are going to blend fairly well. Um, I decided to actually do a half up, half down, which is why the front is still kind of out. And I'm just going to put that in a bun later, but I'm going to show you how to put in the extensions. It's really simple. You just open up the clips. You do it from end to end or yeah, side to side and you just clip on where you think that you need some coverage. Um, so I just kind of briefly show you here that. Um, but then of course we need to have our break. <laughs> so quick drink break. Um, had to take a sip, great little <laughs> cocktail. I'll leave that recipe down there below too if you want that, um, but back to work. So now, all right, so we've got some of the clip ends in. Again, it's still the same process. You just go from end to end, putting in the clips um, and adjust where you need to. Everybody's head shape is different. I started with the clips with the more clips on the back and then I did the smaller clips closer to the front. Um, so I did all of the back and I got all the way to the top, of course, where I made my part. And then I just went ahead and I kind of was not sure if I wanted to do just a single bun, so this video might be a little all over the place, but I decided to do a single bun in the end, um, up top, so half up, half down. So this is just me making sure that it's just moisturized and the edges are cleaned up and it's gonna fit neatly into one bun. Um, so let's see here. Um, also, you wanna make sure, cause I did, I re-moisturized the front of my hair, um, cause you know, hair gets a little dry. And then that was me just putting it in a bun and then I'm just gonna clip some starting from the back and then to the front of the extra or the smaller clips. And we're just going to wrap those around um, once we get all the hair on. Um, it's pretty simple if you've ever made a bun if you feel like I need to do a different tutorial on how to make a top bun with clip ends or just the added footage, I can definitely do that. Um, but I thought I could just go ahead and speed it up since I didn't think it was something that we really needed to spend a lot of time on. But I still wanted to show you um, essentially how it's done. Um, let's see. Alright. So we just want to make sure that we got those edges together. And now for the ultimate reveal of how this style turned out. All right, so this is the completed look. I went ahead and laid my edges. Um, again, this was using better length hair. If you guys have any questions or any other products that you really want me to do a review on, um, I honestly really like this hair. Um, it was pretty soft, it's pretty manageable, but main thing is, especially with the kinkier textures, make sure you moisturize. Um, with that being said, don't forget to go follow me on all my social media platforms. Make sure you just subscribe to my channel here. Um, and that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other great ideas, make sure you leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for tuning into my channel.